people? Doing a quick video here. Maddie D, we're uh, Evan the Black. We're helping you achieve emotional, financial, and physical well-being, and your relationship coach that comes dealing with your parents. So this video is going to be purely based off of um, my opinion. Now, I'm not saying you agree with this, and I could be totally wrong. And so, if you don't agree with it, call me on it. It's fine. And it's fine. I don't care. But doing some research today. I came across something about how to deal with shitty parents, you know, and, and work to those who are hateful parents and reasonable, unreasonable parents. And it's like this. If your parents, or it's one, are shitty, let's define shitty here. Shitty as in just character-wise, you're just like, I can't be around this person and they're just di di they're disrespectful to you, your friends, maybe their own family. Um, they're hateful, racist views. Like you're just like you 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 think of them or you come around them and you're like I can't be around this person. Like this is ridiculous and I don't der I don't deserve to have to put up with their atrocious behavior, even though they're my parents. Like that's how I define it. Now even then even then that's kind of loose, but you know if your parents are shitty, where you're just like y'all have no standards. Forget low standards. Forget low standards. They're they're just low. My advice to you is this, if you're able to, cut them off and disconnect and go the fuck away. Like, move out the house if you can, if you're still living with them, make a plan to get out ASAP because it's going to negatively impact your health and corrode it and make you disintegrate. And the instant you get away from them, you will start to feel better and your health will improve. Yes, the people around do have an impact on our health and our, and our attitudes. We may be positive, but it takes a lot more energy to maintain positivity when you're around them, but you know, you're in your high energy. But then when you go away, it seems to be easier. It's like, oh shit, you know? So that's my advice. Disconnect, cut them off. And I'm not saying you have to cut them off completely, but if they're really like really hateful, horrible, and like shitty parents, I would suggest cutting them off completely. Now, you can cut them off a little bit. Sometimes with, with when you have parents you have you have issues with, it is healthy to to disconnect for a while until you feel ready to come back and do within a way that works for you. But that's your choice. I don't know your situation. I don't know what you're going through, but this is why advice has to be, you know, vague. But do what you gotta do. Um, you got shitty parents, horrible ones, hateful ones, just get the fuck out. Just go away. You're gonna save yourself so much sanity and you'll calm the fuck down and you'll be like, oh, my life is better. And then you, then you have clarity of mind to be like, okay, do I really wanna have a relation with them and you still can from a distance you can cut them off and still send them cards and mail and flowers not that not that physically not physically not to actually talk to them if you so choose to do so but you can let them just be remember in this whole process of trying to cover from your parents is about you not about them it's about what is about what works for you and yourself that's what matters at the end of the day so all that being said and done like this video, comment below, let me know your thoughts are. If you feel like you got some value from this, please share it with someone that you feel needs to hear this. Anyways, my name is Matty D. Um, if you'd like to get coaching, I do coaching on this. And like I said, it, it is not for free, but I will offer a, a free a free first session for you. Um, you can schedule it below in the description, and I'll go from there. But anyways, let me know your thoughts are. Get in the black. Deuces.